Hey guys, it's me, Milky, and today I am upgrading my two gerbils cage into this um, semi-luxurious tank. Oh, and I had to redo my intro, so that's why I'm wearing a different shirt than I am in the rest of the video. So, enjoy the video! The reason I'm upgrading their cage is because the current one that they're staying in is um, a little too small and as you can see there's not a lot of floor space which is the kind that they need but it has a lot of vertical space so this is one of my gerbils um, they're both girls they're sisters this one is the more dominant one her name is Noelle and this is my other gerbil She's the less dominant one. She's kind of shy. Her name is um, Gomi. She is very curious, though. I love Bosha Dam so much. It's Black Friday today, and at Petco they had a dollar per gallon sale for their fish tanks. And I know a lot of people keep their small pets in fish tanks. So I was looking on their website and they had a $20 um, 20 gallon tank. So I ordered that on the website and then we went to the store and we got the tank, we got bedding, we got toys, all sorts of stuff. It's snowing. That's magical, oh man. Okay, so this is the tank. It's a 20 gallon long. It weighs about like 30 pounds ish. I am done with these childish games. So let's start with these two wood, what, uh, wood toy, wood, wooden pieces that I got from Petco today. So this is just going to be their little fetch. That takes up half of the cage. Figuring this out. <laughs> Next, I've got this bendy bridge, and I my plan was to put it right there to have like a separate full thingy. I don't. Know. This is too big. I accidentally forgot to hit record when I was putting the bedding in. The bedding I used was a mix of aspen shavings and so fresh paper bedding to make it um, more stable so they can make tunnels and stuff. And when you're buying wood shavings, you have to make sure that it's always aspen because cedar and other wood shavings are, are toxic and can be really bad for their health okay now I have these um, this was a hanging toy they had but they chewed the string and they all fell down so I'm just gonna put these everywhere I'm also just going to put this toilet paper tube. Okay. So, the tank didn't come with a lid. And the only lids, lids that they had at Petco were, like, actual fish tank lids. They didn't have t 
too much ventilation in their like glass and stuff. So I just ordered one off of Amazon and it will come in a few days, two days, something. So I wanna try to get the dribbles in there as soon as possible. It's kind of a problem if you don't have a lid. Lids are kind of important. So I found this in my closet and oh oh my it covers it perfectly this is a temporary lid there's a little crack and i can scoot over my to make more air but hopefully that's good Okay, now I'm gonna put sand in the sand bath. This is some old sand I had that I was using. So I'll just enough so I'm gonna put a little bit more in okay I think that's good now also going to put this rock over here in the corner just to help keep that up a little more. <gasps> oh, guys, I am a genius. That is great. That fits perfectly. Hmm. Let's put it right here. Okay, that is gonna get covered in sand. Maybe if I use this. I made, my brother made this in ceramics. Mmm, that works. going to sprinkle around some treats and also some what are these called herbs this is called nature salad and I just got it at Walmart I'm also gonna add some of their old bedding so they don't lose their scent. And of course, Timothy Hay. Just going to put a bunch of that up there. Oh shoot! I forgot the wheel. How do I even do this? Is that in? Where do I put this? Go ahead and add in the dribbles. Touch you in. Hey. 
think they're trying to figure out how to get out of there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to drink water.